So I just thought I'd give you a quick update what we've been doing. It's our latest uh, design. It's a balcony wall mount barbecue grill. It's just in early stages of design. What we're going to be doing today, I'm going to show you briefly um, how we design it and how we prototype it. We're going to go out in the workshop shortly, cut it out on the plasma, fold it just to see how it looks in real life. It's, it's always nice to see before you get too deep into the design how it looks before you know you put hours into the design itself on the on the computer in the CAD software. I don't know if you can see that on there, we've got the 3D model. Uh, it hasn't taken too long to get this far. It's early stages yet. Like I said, I don't want to get too deep deep into it and realise some parts of it are not possible to manufacture as you know it's easy to do anything you like on CAD but when it comes to real life workshop environment you might find it takes far too long and it's not cost effective to do it that way so you know we like to um, get a real life prototype in quite early just to see if we're on the right page so to speak um, so this is it, there's the grill bars this hooks on the balcony rail this is adjustable bracket to um, make it sit upright. It's pretty quick and easy to set up. You know, you have it installed in a couple of minutes. Uh, there'll be uh, some threaded holes here in here, which will clamp this bar down, lock it into place. Stainless steel bars. Not sure whether we're going to do stainless body yet or mild steel, and then paint it heat stove paint. Um, but here we are. Here's the 3D model. You know. So what we do now, we're going to go into the workshop and we set the plasma, we've got CNC plasma, we use it for quick stuff like this, just for quick prototyping, um, we're going to go out and cut that out and I'll see you there shortly. So we're in the workshop now, about to press go on the plasma to cut out a prototype. So we're by the press break now, we're going to fold our prototype balcony barbecue. Uh, I've got some fold markers here, you can see them. I won't be on the actual uh, finished product, it's just so when we're prototyping it's a lot quicker rather than setting up the backstops, so we can quickly fold it. Like I said, this, this may get changed or bin completely, so um, yeah, we're going to fold it. I'll speed it up for you so you don't get too bored. As you can see, there's our final shape. Looks just like the drawing I showed you in the office. Uh, quite happy with it. Got to get some stainless rod now for the bars and make the other fittings and um, test it. Really. There you go. So I've just been in the office designing the next part of the balcony barbecue. Here's the inner tray. It's where the charcoal goes. Slides in and out. Handle there. These holes are for air also going to be divoted in give it extra strength to this piece and it'll look quite good too I'll see there'll be one on, each, one on the other end as well here you go there's a try I just showed you on the computer the reel now pretty good it was uh, testing the durability of the steel as well went for a thinner gauge than maybe what I would have done but I've uh, I think I've cracked it with these folds. 
These are going to have the divots put in, strengthen them up, but still, we're still on this, and it's pretty good to be honest. I'm very happy. So here we go. We've gone from a drawing this morning to real life prototype this afternoon. Uh, ignore the edge finish. This is just literally look prototypes, just so I can test the manufacturability of it, the folds, etc. Function. We're going to test that this evening. We're going to be back showing you that. Uh, in the meantime, I popped out and bought some stainless steel grade 303. Um, rod, 4mm diameter, so it's what we want to run with, you know, not chrome plated, nickel plated bars we feel, you know, stainless is the best you can get to cook on, so why not? We'll add, a, you know, a little bit to the cost, but we feel we'd rather offer a better product. We still haven't shaped our end holes yet, We're going to make some tooling up to do that. Just stamp them, put a, put a rounded edge there, make it this end panel a bit more stiffer. This needs folding a bit better. Um, but yeah, we are getting there with it, so keep tuned in. We've got a clamp bar. Not too bad. Because we're on the components of the clamp mechanism. This to this, up to that. Yes. Should be the clamp bar inside, but we're going to weld this here. It goes. We'll work. Uh, Adjustable bracket, very easy to use, I must say. Hang it on your balcony, just to suit the bar. Flat head, tie it up. Box your ankle. So I'm going to take a trip around Jim's house now, and we're going to hook it on his balcony, put some coals in it, and cook some sausages, maybe some steak. I might get some on the way. So, see you there. So we're here at Jim's, hook this straight on the railing. Had to adjust the bottom piece a little bit, it took two minutes to install. That goes on there, on the balcony as you can see, nice view over the town. Very nice. So we're going to take the charcoal tray, fill that up. Highlighters. We'll leave this going for a half hour now, get the coals nice and white and we'll try and uh, get some sausages on the go. So as you can see it's performed quite good this, we're very happy with it. So you've seen how we design and manufacture uh, part of the process we do. We have got to make some slight changes with it um, and it will be available to sell probably two, three weeks time. 